What is up guys, it's Bob Gar and I am playing some core equipment combo, some choreos in modern, uh, not the prettiest hand I've ever seen, but I think it's a keep, so I will say keep. What I'm looking at right now is turn one duelist into turn two, probably Srams, hopefully into turn three pure steel and play a couple artifacts. Uh oh. Some kind of land combo deck I'm guessing. Core Duelist. We now have the free artifact too, which is kind of nice. Hopefully they don't have a lot of removal. Blue, green doesn't seem like a, a removal heavy color, but they might just get out Primeval Titans before we can do anything. I don't know. Serum Visions. Draw one, scry two, so they can draw a card off the top, and then they get to look at the top two cards and put them back in any order. So they can set up what they're going to get in a minute. Oh, and uh, presumably... So Cora Tribe Scout is going to put that other land back into play too. Might hold it back as a blocker. I don't know. Looks like they are. I'm going to play a Saram. And I think I'm going to pass here. I don't think I'm going to attack in yet. I think even though I don't think he'll block, I think the Core Duelist is too important. Yeah, I knew I was going to do that. Uh, he, he very well might not have traded it anyway, so it might have been correct to attack. But, like I said, I think he's too important to my strategy to risk here. But I might get blown out if this guy just puts in a million lands over the course of a couple of turns. I'm, I'm going to feel a little bit bad. So next turn, play Pure Steel, play a Cord Shield, hope to get more stuff to combo with. Zora, yep. Land. You can play a lot more lands if he wants to, if he has them. Like a lot more lands. Tularia West. Close guild gate returns doesn't really matter what. Does he still get one more? I can't remember. No, this is two extra, so he played three so far. You can put it into play with Sir Kara Tribe Scout. And then he has to hope that one of his last three cards is actually a threat. Because <laughs> what he has right now is not actually very threatening, but I'm assuming. Okay. Pure Steel Paladin. Bone Saw. Always yield. Oh, I get to equip my guys up at least, which probably means I get to attack in. Always yes. Always yield. We'll see how... Oh, I get to combo off pretty well at that. Hopefully we hit a land. That one's really good. It's almost as good as hitting a land. There's a land. Land... I feel like Armament Master might be the play just because that can attack next time and it still makes my guys pretty big. <laughs> I could play another Pure Steel. It's definitely still an option. I don't think it's worth it here. Keeping one in hand also protects me against the Sweeper, although I don't think he has a Sweeper. Um, equip here. Let's play down Armament Master. So, you know, 10-10 double strike. Just going to swing in with that like I do. Well, at least I got to do my thing this game, even if we lose it. I don't I don't feel that bad when I get to swing in with a 10-10 double strike core duelist. Block, tap, put your land in play. Oh, block with Azura instead, sure. Oh, double block. Okay. Uh, I don't think he needed to double block, but... I'm not, certainly not going to complain. Also, I don't know why he didn't tap to put his land in play. I'm not sure if that's just sloppy play or if he has something up his sleeve. Well, we get to get rid of all these extra lanes that we have. And the rest of the cards in our hand are actually really good. They're, they're not combo-y, but... Um, you know. We're going to have one, two, three, six mana basically next turn if we want. Play down another this, of this guy. Play down a cranial plating and see if we can combo off with the bone splitters too. Um, and then we'll be able to swing with two core creatures, and we'll put all of our buffs on this one. He gives up. Wow. Oh, we got there game one. He had a fast start. Um, I don't know how to board against him. I'm not sure what he is other than a land deck, and land deck doesn't strike me as something that we're terribly good against. 
I think I just run it back until I see something that I can deal with. Um, I didn't see anything there that I have any particular ability to, de to deal with. Oh, I forgot to change my sideboard here. This is the incorrect sideboard slightly. I have Brave the Elements, instead, which are which are actually fine in the sideboard too, but I have Brave the Elements instead of the uh, Ghost Quarters I meant to run. I realized that I didn't have Ghost Quarters in here, and you know, Tron is still a bad enough matchup that you probably want Ghost Quarters. Well, um, if he doesn't have removal... Yeah, you know, I'm going to try it. This is like the more fair draw you can get, and it's not good, but it's not bad, right? Like turn two, we're swinging with a 3-1 double strike. All right, he's got the Amulet of Vigor, because he's Amulet of Vigor combo. That was not a good draw unless we get a combo piece in a little bit. But if we get a Pure Steel Paladin in, a, in either next turn or the turn after, we're feeling pretty good. Like, playing Bone Splitters for fair doesn't feel good, but playing... Oh, it doesn't feel that bad either. Playing Bone Saw it kind of does feel bad. I'm guessing he just gets to make four mana here if he wants to. Yeah, nope, nope. Just just the normal one tap land, all right. Well, I think now it's actually better to play Pure Steel. Play out a bunch of Bone Saws because then we get to equip those up. Always yes, always yield. Cranial Plating could be very good next turn. Vigilance is pretty cool. I can see a pretty strong argument for not attacking here and instead playing down uh, Kite Sail Apprentice. But I don't think I will... So we'll do six here, no blocks. I think I'm gonna move this over here so this guy's a better blocker. Um, if he manages to Primeval Titan, I can just trade with my 3-1 double strike, which I mean, isn't great, but it's fine. I guess I couldn't because he'll give it double strike too. I should uh, probably say always yield to that. I'm not going to be able to do anything in response to it. It's going to get a lot of mana. Okay. He's got to return something to his hand. He returns that to his hand so he can play it again and get more mana. Makes some sense. It's up to six mana. Okay, Rurikthar. That's fine. So I'm going to take six damage in a minute. Um, what is best? I think Armament Master might be the strongest. If I play Armament Master, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's got to be Armament Master. Equip here. He's just going to have to block me, I guess. Here. So now I'm an 8 7 double strike, so I kill him in one shot. I can even attack with this if I want to. Because what is he going to do? Block here and then just take 16? That doesn't seem good. So why don't I attack like that? He gives up. All right, we got the match. That was sweet. <laughs> yeah, I put him in a really hard position. Uh, it's like, well, now you have to give up your Rurik Thar, and then I can just combo off anyway if I want to. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Man, this deck is so much fun, even if it's not good. I don't care. I love it. All right, <laughs> take it easy, guys. Hey, guys. Bob Gar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.